Okay, we're going to be looking at the Beretta CX4 Storm CO2 powered pellet repeater. This is an air gun, but it is a replica of the uh, CX4 9mm firearm. Uh, normally, this does come black. I've spray painted it with this custom urban digital camouflage type of a design here. I call it the uh, Lego gun because it looks like Legos from a distance. It's a pretty cool design. Um, I've added a scope to this. Normally it doesn't come with any uh, optics, it just has these open sights here which are a kind of unique design. There is a premium package which comes with a scope and a muzzle brake, but I didn't get that. So I've just added this cheap little scope to it. One thing about it is it's got these unique open sights and they do interfere with the scope a little bit. You can still see the crosshairs, the reticle through there, but it does obstruct the field of view at the bottom of the scope a little bit. So you have to get used to shooting with that. You could get high relief scope rings for it if you wanted to raise the scope up, but I like it being compact so I don't mind having to, to uh, look through the open sights in order to look through the scope. Now, um, it does have Picatinny weaver rail mounts, which I like a lot better than the 3 8 inch. Uh, mounts the air guns usually have. I like the military style uh, mounts. Those are nice. As far as the features of the gun, it operates off of an 88 gram CO2 cartridge. These are pretty expensive. They're normally about nine, eight, nine bucks if you buy them individually. So they can be pretty costly. You do get about 200 powerful shots per cartridge as opposed to like, you know, 50 for uh, the 12 gram cartridges that are used with other CO2 powered guns. You load it in right here in the butt. That just snaps right on. It goes right there. It's got a mag release right here on the handle and you have to pull the magazine out it's kind of a uh, unique design a rotary style it's just made out of rubber and it spins around and it loads each shot 30 round capacity that's the most i've ever seen any air gun hold one reason why I got this thing. You can fire 30 rounds. They say it's semi-automatic, which technically it is, as fast as you can pull the trigger, but it doesn't actually cock the gun with each shot. So for instance, in a firearm, the recoil draws the slide back and loads the next round. This doesn't have that same functionality. I've talked about this in my uh, other air pistol uh, review video where it's a blowback air gun and that one actually does the blowback action does draw the slide back which cocks the hammer so in that sense that particular gun I think it was the Gamo uh, P25 it is fully semi-automatic semi this one I don't consider semi-automatic because the trigger uh, has to complete the whole cycle for the mechanism to rotate the magazine, load the pellet, and fire it. So for that reason, you've got this very um, you know, long draw to the trigger. It's a little bit clunky. It's not very smooth or crisp. So that affects accuracy. It's definitely not ideal but that's how this particular gun is designed to allow you to um, you know, cycle the mechanism and, and uh, shoot 30 shots in rapid succession. 
Um, technically, once you get used to shooting it, it's not that bad. You can overcome it and get some, some good accuracy out of it, even though it does have kind of a rough trigger pull. I don't really know any way of modifying it to make that any better because again you're gonna have a hard time even if you you know lubricate it and polish things down you're still gonna have to pull on it pretty hard to get that magazine to cycle through now with that magazine um, you do have to load it with a special tool it's just a little piece of plastic with a, a cone tip on it and you have to seat each pellet down in there properly so that they don't snag when being loaded. They need to seat down into those little holes in the, the magazine. So that does take more time when you're loading it, but again, it's 30 shots. Once you load it, you're going to have 30 shots that you can plink around with or hunt with, and you won't need to load it again. They do sell extra clips. I think they're like 25 bucks. They're pretty expensive. So I don't have any extra clips. Um, as far as the power of the gun, I believe I've chronied it at about 610 feet per second. Actually, I believe it's 625. Uh, 625, I think is what it is. So it's over 600. Uh, pretty much regardless of what pellets you use. That was just with lead, regular lead pellets. You could use the high velocity PBA ones if you wanted. You'd get a little more out of it. But I prefer lead. Uh, you know, 600 in a 177 caliber. It's pretty powerful. I've definitely killed some birds with it before. You could probably kill squirrels. I'd say your range is limited to about uh, 25 yards. You don't want to go much further than that. Um, does have a safety right here, which you can depress from both sides. There's a bolt, which is just kind of a fake bolt. It doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of cool. It gives it a realistic effect. I thought that was a nice touch. It is a blowback pistol in the sense that some of that excess gas will draw back this little slide right here and that's just to simulate the um, ejector port on the norm on the the real weapon the nine millimeter so that comes back a little it's kind of cool to look at when you're, sh you're shooting although you can't really see it but somebody else was looking at you shooting they would see that going open it only opens about a half an inch so I don't really know what purpose it does but it just gives it more of a realistic kind of look and feel. And this is a bullpup design, which is kind of unique and innovative for an air gun. It's got a great feel to it. It's pretty hefty, pretty heavy. Uh, you can use like a laser. I put lasers on here before when I didn't have a scope. Lasers work really well. It's a pretty accurate gun, despite the issues with the trigger pull. So, you know, it's it can be used as a hunting weapon. The only thing I really don't like about it is just the, the cost of that CO2. And you can't really store it for a long period of time. So, if you decide that you want to load it up, you better have a lot of stuff to shoot at. Because you need to pretty much shoot it than a day or two to, to drain all the CO2. Um, aside from that, I think that's pretty much it. We've covered uh, the specifications, and the paint job, uh, the, oh, the cost. I believe this gun was around $300. So it's pretty darn expensive for an air rifle. But it does have a lot of extra features that normal guns don't have. Again, three, 30 round magazine. You just, that's unheard of for air guns. So it's pretty cool that you can shoot 30 rounds as fast as you can pull the trigger. That makes it a pretty powerful air gun in that respect. So you're getting extra features and innovation 
when you pay that extra money. Plus, it just it's a cool looking gun. It's a bullpup. It's an exact replica of the 9mm firearm. It comes in a uh, really nice uh, plastic case. It's got some egg crate foam in there. Uh, closes up nicely. It's pretty durable. I've had that thing for a few years and no issues with it. So it does come with that real nice case. I did have to cut out a little area for the scope so that'll fit in there. But it works uh, really nice. Yeah, I definitely would recommend this air gun to anyone who's uh, thinking about purchasing it. I do have a lot of air gun review videos just showcasing my air rifles, air pistols. I've got everything from CO2, PCP, spring pistons. So I've, you know, pistols, rifles, you name it. I've pretty much got them all. So you'll, if you uh, look over my channel, you can see some of those other videos. I'll probably be doing more in the future, showcasing my air guns. So definitely be sure to check that out and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, thanks for watching. Take care.